There's your name. Hey, lovely, how are you going? I'm good, hold on, sorry, I'm trying to get it to work. No worries. There it is, it's working. I'm eating as well, I'm starving. Good, good job, good job. I was meant to start the detox today. I started out well and then I found myself stress eating. Mm-hmm. Fritz and sauce sandwich, stress eating. I haven't had Fritz in like nine, ten years. That's because you live in Queensland. I know. Oh my god. <laughs> I'd forgotten that it even existed. That's so good. And it was on special because everything else is sold out. So and I was just talking to Mandy, she's in Adelaide as well, and she was like, It's out of control. I can't buy toilet paper or anything. Mm-hmm. Ours is even like me. All the mm. meat on. It's weird. Yep. Hey They're Angela. Yeah, I'm the same. Like, I actually, because I don't eat much meat, like being a diplomat, I actually eat mostly vegetables. Mm. And so for me, I went and bought like a whole chicken and chopped it down and just went, cool, that's going to last me for about three weeks, just one whole chicken. Because I can just ration myself with lentils and vegetables and that's it. Yeah, Yeah, I I mainly bought vegetables, which is good because that's what everyone hasn't taken. Mm -hmm. And I'm about to go hit up the Asian grocers this afternoon. Ooh. Yum. Because everyone's like avoiding the Asian grocers, right? I can't hear. I can't you. hear. We can hear you. You hear me? Yeah. Hmm. If it's um, log out and then log back in. Cool. Um, yeah. Um, I'm actually trying to figure out how to get into my super. Are you? Well, I'm That's a sole a trader idea. and I'm also, with Whoa. my job, I've lost 20% and I'm a sole trader. So, uh, all of it. Yeah, mine's in my... Um, I know it's a personal one anyway, and because I'm a company, but there's not a lot in there. Uh, Angela, can you hear us now? Can you hear us now? Hmm? Cool, okay. So I don't believe anybody else was going to be able to jump on. All right, give me one sec, I'll be right back. Yep, no problem. We can hang out. Mm -hmm. Angela, how did you go with um, Anne? I'm going into the other room because I can hear you. You want me to go out again? No, can, can't you hear us? Go out again. Uh, <laughs> is your volume up? Check your volume. It's full screen. Um, where is it? Um, Chat. Is your volume up? Okay, I got it. Yay! I have a new system here. The guy was over about five days ago, and I have to turn two things on, and I only turned one thing on. <laughs> Easily done with a new system. <laughs> okay, everyone take a deep breath with me. <sighs> yes. 
So I don't want to make it too long today, but I am going to make it um, as, as helpful as I can. Um, because we know that at the moment there's, everyone's in a really big panic. Um, I know right now people are trying, people are being losing their jobs. People are trying to find ways of earning money. People are trying to get on government benefits with sites crashing. So everyone's in a real state right now. Um, and there's, there's not much that we can actually do about that apart from keep our calm and just keep checking in and keep trying for ourselves and, and, um, so my my definite thing is um, just even though we have our own stuff going on, just think about is there anybody else you need to check in in your life with and just see that they're okay because the process of stepping out of your own stuff just to quickly check on someone else will really help ground you. And what I've found is every time you do that, you'll bring about perspective of something in your own life. Um, so that ability to check in and make sure everyone else is okay um, will A, help them and really um, let them know that you're there. Um, but generally what I find is through the conversation process with your friends, which I'm gonna do a live later today, one I had with a friend of mine, is that you will quickly have the penny drop on some resources or options that maybe you hadn't thought about before. So definitely reach out to your loved ones and make sure everyone's okay and just have some cool conversations and see what comes up. Um, so that's number one priority. <laughs> um, and number two, um, is, is, does anyone have any questions before I jump into it? Because I can, I can just, blah, blah, but does anyone have any statements or anything that you want to bring up? One, uh, just totally off the wall, but uh, are there more fires? Are there more fires around Sydney? Oh, not that I've heard of, no. I haven't heard okay. of any of those. I saw something just about a half an hour ago, just a clip. And it said uh, there are like 50 fires. And, and I thought, this couldn't be a month old. I, I mean, what, what is this? And they said that there was um, really bad air in Sydney today. But people were staying in anyway, you know, I mean, from the fires. Potentially. Potentially. The only thing I think of when people say fires is that it's uh, going to produce the heat to kill the disease. <laughs> Well, you know, my, my granddaughter is in Sydney, oh, yes. and, and I talked to her today, and she's really upset because she came to find a job, and she oh, brought yes. up enough money for a month, and it looks like she might be stuck here for two or three months, and, you know, so I've been, I've been counseling her to, you know, just... Uh, uh, enjoy the gratitude of her health and and remember the joy that she had in her belly about three days ago you know and it's still there and yeah. you know and the money she can use her skills in some way to contribute and to to give to the community that will be where this is the benefit that we can look at this is the fact that everything is being stripped away from us that we had as creature comforts and we're now going to have to come back to a space of con contribution of true mm. contribution. What can I do to help my neighbour? What can I do to help each other? How can we support each other through this situation? Um, and something I'm going to be honing in on is, is understanding your phenotype and understanding what your strengths actually are. What's your natural gifts? We can all go to a job, but then there'll be skills that you have. Like diplomats are really, really great at planting and being connected to the earth and doing the heavy lifting and long-term heavy lifting. So whether it ends up being that we create uh, um, um, veggie patches that we can contribute, whether it be, you know, these sorts of things. And then the people that are really sciencey and brainy, maybe they're the ones that get out and help people to go online with their businesses and create a bit more structure and flow in the online space. But we had a meeting here for Vulcan and we are going online with coaching. So we are going to be um, doing Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I'll be doing a 3 p.m. Queensland time. So right now, um, Angela, it's 12.30. Um, so in another two and a half hours, um, on Monday, Wednesday, Fridays, I will do a fitness program from home, live into Vulcan. I'm going to try and figure out a way that I can live stream it on computer and the phone so I can have one live stream going to you guys and Facebook and one live stream going to Megan's group. Um, and then we're going to have a heap of meditations being shared from our people. So everything that comes through on our business stuff, 
I'll be sharing through to you guys so you've got access to a lot of that stuff as well. Um, yeah. Same with some cooking classes and cooking shows with people just going, well, I don't know what to do, Shana. All I have left in my cupboards is blah, blah, blah. And I'll try and assist in creating foods. Yeah. Um, did you guys see the 10-day booster program being shunned around everywhere? Has yeah. it come out, has it come out yet? I, no. It comes out on the 25th. So um, we're getting everyone signed oh. up today and tomorrow. Um, if you already have an account, it should pop up on your dashboard on the 25th um, and you'll be able to access that. What, what, day? what day is that? What's today? 21st? 23rd. Today's the 23rd? Two days and it'll go live. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what it's really going to mean is that um, it's free for friends and family. So this is our opportunity to get all of our loved ones measured up and find out what their health types are and quickly go in in the 10 days. Actually, sorry, they get a month of shade. So use this time to get every family member on and go, right, what health type are you? Go into their mind profiles, go into their social profiles, go into their lifestyle profiles and figure out your loved ones and be like, oh my God, now I get it. You know? This is an awesome window to do that. But also while everyone's hoarding and buying everything, use your profile to go, you know what? I'm just going to stock up. Like for me, I've just stocked up on lentils and salmon and chicken. Because I was like, I know I can live on that. And thyme. I've got thyme, salmon, lentils, chicken, green veggies. I've frozen a heap of spinach. I've frozen a heap of broccoli. Like know what to stock up on. Because when shit hits the fan any further than it already has, you actually have a tool to understand what can I remain healthy with living on rice, probably going to kill most of us. But if I can live on lentils, Hey, I've actually now got a fighting chance where my brain and my digestive system are rocking it out and everybody else is suffering because they're eating bread and crisps and soda and stuff. That's like that. what I don't understand. Everyone's stocking up on pasta, rice, flowers, potatoes. I'm like, that's all starch and heavy. And like, where's your fresh fruit and veggies and, Yep. All of that stuff for even the frozen fruit and veggies, they're still like heaps. It's like, why wouldn't you buy that stuff? Yeah, that's what I'm I doing. Mean, I'm like, I know the frozen stuff's not great, but it's going to save you from getting any diseases. Yes. Yeah. Whereas yeah. everything they're buying is creating disease. And you feel like crap when you have too much pasta or ice. Mm -hmm. The press just doesn't, doesn't keep, I mean, you know. I mean, here, here we don't have a problem yet, at least not yet. Um, because we are um, sequestered in our homes, but we can go out for food and medical. And the, the food places are open. And we have a lot of farmer's markets here. Mm. So, you know, because I can't buy more than five days worth of fresh stuff, I'll throw it away. You know, I mean, you know, and, and I don't buy uh, cans and boxes. I don't everyone here is doing that and then they're buying the fresh produce and just freezing it. So cook it and freeze it. Oh, yeah. And I don't have a One of our retailers has sold out of like the deep chest freezers because everyone's like just buying shit and freezing yeah. it. Yeah. I don't have a freezer here. I had one in Ecuador, but I don't have one here. And my if I was you, I'd be getting onto your, um, onto your local support, social media support groups and just seeing if anybody has a chest freezer that they're not using. Yeah, right. <laughs> that chance. <laughs> yeah, the yeah. social media blew up on that one. Yeah. Uh, I know that the 10 day immune booster basically, what's the, did, did you guys watch the long recording or at least part of the long recording that came out? I haven't, um, I haven't had a chance yet. Today I was just totally busy from morning to night. Um, I have one other question. How do you sign up somebody? How do you sign up a family member for the immune booster? The 10 day booster? I will grab that right now. Um, I'll do it by my phone. Um, it's a special link and they're going to need to measure themselves up and put their data in that way. Um, so they need to go on it. I can't go on it and give them their, okay. Yeah, well, they're going to have to get measured up. So you can't, you, you're just going to have to measure them. Like, um, that'll be a definite. Uh, copy. Well, I'm going to put my granddaughter when she's in Sydney. She's not here. <laughs> so, she's well, that's easy. It's very easy to follow the steps and just go through the process and, and put in their data. 
Okay. Well, can I give her the? Can I yep, give, you can her, give the her the link, and then she just needs to have a measuring tape and someone to help her do the measurements. Okay. Did you just send me that link too as well when you get a chance? Sorry. And then. No, no, it's good. I'll do it right now. I can get everyone on it. I'm gonna make my mum and my dad go on it. Personalized detox. This says personalized detox. It's just the word in the link. Don't worry about it. That is the right yeah. one. Yeah, where they're using the old Facebook group for detoxing and they've converted it across to the global immune booster. Okay. If you have a look at there, they've actually, there's a picture that pops up on some of it, Angela. So they've changed no. it to immune booster. It's only on some devices that it'll pop up like that. Oh, so okay. when you go into it, that picture will come and, up. And so she has to go into Facebook. Yep. She's on Facebook, so that's fine. They will need to use social media because this is the easiest, fastest way to get um, this across the globe. Okay. So that, that recording of Dr. Garoli, basically, um, he's talking about the factor of what the virus actually is, how it reproduces, how you can kill it, how all these things. But then he's come back to the understanding that the one thing that the government's realising over in Italy right now is that the medication is not doing anything. The one thing that is working in the world right now is Chinese herbal medicine. Chinese herbal medicine is the pinnacle point of what's actually assisting us right now. And the Chinese are very anal retentive. If something doesn't work, they don't bother with it. So their Chinese herbal medicine is incredible. So what's happening is he's using everything they've been trialing. Like he's, his phone is on 24 seven being called from doctors, scientists and medical boards around the globe constantly with cases going, what do I do in this case? What do I do in this case? What do I do in this case? And so he's constantly seeing clients globally. And what he's done is correlated all of that against the, each of the different health types. And they've then spent countless hours, I don't think you slept in about a month, uh, countless hours creating an up level, um, like an update of Shea Wellness for 10 days, getting everyone, so in that 10 days, you will know for your DNA, for your specific body, right now, what you need to get in your fridges, in your pantries, to boost your body and boost your immune system. Hmm. So those of us who already have accounts, uh, Anne said, some kind of a button is going to appear on my account and I yeah, just on your look. dashboard. On my dashboard, okay. On the twenty fifth. Yeah. Okay. Is that in the app as well or is that just on the like dashboard I, version? I can't guarantee. I can't guarantee that I don't actually know. Um just because um, it's just unknown at the moment as to how they're going to roll it out exactly. At the moment, they're just focusing on any government authority. So um, if you know anyone who's in a government role or in a, in a heavy medical role, this is the, that recording that we sent you is something to be sent out to them because the more press we get across this, the more people we can help the fastest. This yeah. is going to be our only fighting chance against the disease, but also against um, recovering ourselves. Um, being one of the head accounts, I'll just see if mine's got any changes. So on top of that, what I really want to focus on, I'm going to write this in the post, is I want everyone to sort of sit down over the next couple of days and go, right, what brings me joy? The one thing that everyone complains about most of their life about keeping on track of themselves is I don't have enough time. That is about to become the biggest BS reason as to why we can't look after ourselves because we're all about to have a whole lot more time. Yes, you're going to be at home with the children, but think about that too. What brings me joy with my children? I'm going to start creating some video content each day and try and create some games for the kids. Um, I'm going to be talking about how to create um, health type variations for each of the exercises and really start educating from that point of personalized health in fitness. Um, the other thing we're going to be looking at is, um, it's like I'm going to be doing for my clients is, right, so if you're stuck at home and you've got a PH360 profile with me, maybe I can sit down with you and go, right, what have you got in the house? If you're going to be isolated to home and you can't go out, what can we do? What size is your backyard? What equipment can we find in your home that we can utilize that you guys can get creative with? <laughs> it's a good thing I don't have kids. All I've got is a balcony. <laughs> yes. <laughs> You got a trampoline though, so that's a big benefit. And a sauna. Oh yeah. You're gonna be able to kill the disease no matter what. You're protected. Oh I'm I'm in I'm in good shape. I don't have any I, I don't have any fears, I don't have any stresses. I I I'm 
I've got everything I need and I'm good. Mm. Perfect. I it's not, so it's not that different for me because I'm retired and because I'm in a place where I don't, well, not literally, but I basically don't know anybody. And a lot of my life is uh, electronic, you know, mm -hmm. skyping my friends in the States and all over the world. And, and I'm doing my activities. I'm watching webinars and doing stuff with, with, with you and, and you know. I, you know, so, you know, I just, I can't go to my tango lessons and I can't go to my Saturday morning farmer's market. And other than that, my life hasn't changed much. <laughs> yep. Yep. Well, I mean, that's the thing is now is the time to really, for the others that are, are going to need to reevaluate their life is what brings you back to joy? Is it dancing? Is it music? Is it smells? Is it, um, cuddles with the kids if you are in quarantine you guys are probably going to be better off than those that haven't got people in the house you know i know for me i'm i, I i'm actually getting in, in touch with my inner connector and realizing how much physical touch is actually more of a love language than i actually realized it was yeah. right i'm realizing that these sort of things are the parts that are going to be very very hard and what i really want you guys to know is that through doing the health type assessment with your family if you have connectors, if you find out a family member is a connector, I we need to put together a strategy plan for them because these guys are going to find it really, really hard. If you have family members who have got connected traits or anything like that, we need to make sure it's a priority that they have more connection time with you because um, they are going to suffer and they're going to suffer hard. And it's going to be really mentally challenging for them because they get their happiness, they get their, their oxytocin via connection. So they're going to need webinars. If you've got family members who you find out are connectors, you must be doing webinars. You must be calling them daily. Like it's going to become a ritual of self-care to look after the loved ones. And if they're connected, they're going to need more of it. So whether it's, you know, if they're single and alone and living at home by themselves and they come up as a connector, go, hey, at dinner time, let's Zoom on the computer. Let's have family dinners via Zoom, right? Because they and that will be the difference between keeping them sane. So with this program, can I do my kids through it as well? Yep. Cool. Oh, uh, what ages? Six, no, seven and five. Mm, they're a bit young. Bit young? They're a bit young. I would treat children like connectors. Okay. All children, unless they are really reserved children where they're like, I don't want to talk or be touched or anything like that, then they're probably a sensor or a crusader with a bit of sensor. Um, if they're a reserved child and everyone's at home, give them a corner, give yeah. them their room, let them be in their room. If they're like sensory or like, because everyone's in my space and in my face, they will be the ones that you're going to have to just go, you know what, let's give you Mine your room. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> For anyone who's listening. <laughs> <laughs> I got all over me all the time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Love. They were playing COVID nineteen yesterday. That was their new fun game that they discovered. Is we can't do Tag. this. Because, yep, it was so funny. Yep, yep. everything. We can't go to the swimming centre because there's COVID nineteen. <laughs> I'm listening to them. They're like the Corona. <laughs> and there's so many funny videos out there now too. Yep. I should have actually filmed on it. It was quite hilarious. <laughs> so I think, oh, so mind-wise, we need to come back to what brings us joy, what brings the family joy. Who do we need to check in? Um, let's use this time to really boost ourselves. So there may be a course or a cleaning area of the house that we've been wanting to do, something we've been wanting to educate ourselves on, a book. Let's find the simple pleasures and let's use this time to go, hey, there's all these things and I would like you both to submit to me your list of what those things are. Anyone watching the replay, what's your list of things that you've always wanted to do or needed time to do? And I'm not saying you're going to get them done, but just become aware of them so that when you're having those moments of panicking about society, turn off social media and turn to those things. The book I've been wanting to read, stuff social media, it's all crazy. I'm going to get away from that. I'm just going to read this book. And just you watch. If you spend that time reading that book, you're going to come back and you're going to be more connected to your partner, more connected to your kids, less reactive, 
not eating the foods that aren't good for you. You're going to be more capable of making the right choices to sustain you and your family through this time. Right. I've already started. I've got um, about six webinars to review that uh, I actually bought them. You know, I have the CDs or the flash drive and uh, because I didn't have enough time to listen to them, you know, a few months ago, or whatever. So yesterday I listened to about four hours of webinars. Nice, nice. Well, I have to take a moment right now and apologize. Shanae, thank you for messaging earlier. Um, hey, Katie. Thank you for jumping on. I know this is, this, this is important that you've jumped on. I'm so impressed. Um, I'll skim back over everything in a second, but um, uh, thank you, Shanae, for pointing out that I hadn't put up the stuff over the weekend. I, I, I knew in my bones I needed to, to spend the weekend. I spent one day connecting with friends. I spent one day doing a bit of work and then on the beach because I just knew that somehow I knew something was going to happen this week. And I just needed that time. So I didn't get up last week's content and I will. It's going to come in the next two days. Um, but I also am glad I didn't because some of this stuff that we're talking about today will be in this week's one. Um, just to reiterate what we're going to go through and what we're going to work on. So don't worry about today's call. I will make sure you guys have got um, opportunity to get this content through. Um, Katie, what we've just spoken about is what brings you back to joy? I want a list from everybody of what brings you back to joy and or what have you not had time to get done? So even though you're busy and you're going to be busy for a bit longer until the oils slow down and whatnot and, and that whatnot. But once you get a glimmer of that, I'd love to know what is it that brings you joy? Um, is it dancing? Is it smells? Is it sounds? Is it cuddles? Is it what? And then also what have you not had time to do? Is there a course? Is there a book? Is there a cleaning project? Is there a thing that you've not had time to do that you actually, when you think about doing that thing, it brings you joy. Yeah, awesome. And then the other thing I want to say to everybody, who is feeling the fear at the moment? Is anyone actually feeling it? Yeah. yeah. No. 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 <laughs> I'm so glad to see you so chirpy, which is awesome. I am. I have to just interject. I'm sorry I'm late on the call, but I, I still have my moments, but I am so energized because there are so many opportunities and yes we all have to rejig what we do or find different ways of functioning in this you know new world it's a new world but we can do it we can do it we've got all the resources we've got all the skills we just have to just shift our little mental thought processes and not not Again, all the things you teach us, and I reckon that some of the adjustments that I've made on your program have enabled me to really shift what has been, I would say, you know, on, on the outer, I might appear upbeat and, and, you know, quite positive, but sometimes on the inner, I'm down on myself, I'm negative about everything, and I'm mentally unstable, and that's why I use lots of essential oils and... Yeah, but at, at, funnily, when sometimes things happen, I, I couldn't feel more energized. And it's because I'm well. I'm actually more balanced and I've been practicing. I've still got loads of room for improvement, but I am balanced. I am well. I'm attuning to what counts. Um, and just, you know, the tweaks from this program have made a huge difference because, yeah, even where I shifted from a week ago since we measured, you know, where mm -hmm. I was a week ago, and just knowing that there's a supportive community in the universe for all of us, it doesn't, none of you are anywhere near me. Mm -hmm. we, have, we have been living this perfect virtual existence already. And I get so some of this support from this group. <laughs> Look at this guardian doing her role and knowing that she has everything that the community needs to survive. Like as soon as I saw your Facebook post of you providing, I was like, this is a guardian in her element and balanced. And I wouldn't be surprised if through this process, you lose a couple kilos this week because you are yeah. in a space of being in service. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. That's good to hear it in that way. Thank mm. you. 
which is the guardian and the connector's natural talent. And the fact that you're still able to be connected to people and contributing is massive. Absolutely massive. And actually in my thought thinking about that just then, if you guys have got, and this is me, me asking a favor of you, if you guys have got even a two word, uh, a two sentence paragraph, something like that of any kind of a testimonial, now would be a great time because off the back of the 10 day detox, which we're doing for free for everyone, my aim is to boost this community so we can really start making a big difference in people's lives and giving them not only the one month access into Shay, I want to make sure they're on it for the year because this is going to go longer than a month and they're going to need this ongoing. And I think once they get it, then they're going to thrive in that. So if you guys have got anything you can do as a testimonial, I'd hugely appreciate it at the moment because at the moment we want to get it out there. We're doing a lot of global work. Um, and that's where it really needs to shift now is to more support globally in places like this. Yeah. Oh, Shana, look, absolutely. It's just a case of me doing it and I'd be more than happy to do some sort of testimonial. But, you know, the world, the new world is, let me just give you the upshot. The new world is online, virtual everything, Zoom meetings, providing a service, blah, blah, blah. And you, you've all got all the ingredients. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> easy peasy Japanesey. yeah yeah exactly right and that's the thing so anyway, that's uh, enough from me i'll just listen now you. thank you thank you very very much <laughs> So I guess what You're I was welcome. really going to jump into there was going, we're all going to feel the fear and instead of bucking up against it, which many of us have done where we go and we eat and we do all the things and we sabotage when we get into that wet whirlwind of the, the negative emotions, the negative is always going to be there. We're going to be faced with it day in, day out. And Katie said it so well where she was like, it's there, it's real. But I also realize this, there's a polar opposite to it in that there is so much opportunity for us to find ways to give back. We all have to get really creative right now, which is awesome because most of us, and like Katie, I said to the girls just before, if you know someone, like check in with people around you, check in with your friends and your family, have the greater conversations because I guarantee in having those greater conversations with other people, you will find golden nuggets and things for yourself to do, to be, to access and how to give back. And that in that process, we're going to realize that there's so much that we haven't tapped into just yet that this is now forcing us to now now um, recognize and harness um, the other thing is um, Katie I'm um, sending out the guys the the um, link for the 10 day detox that's coming through the 10 day immune booster to send out to everyone go find out who your people are go find out where your friends and family are because the thing is if you've got anyone who's a connector they are going to need extra support right now and they're going to need this. They're going to need a constant video calls. If there's a connector who's living by themselves, they're going to need Zoom and have dinner parties with them. If they're in isolation, get them on a Zoom call while you're eating dinner. Get them on a Zoom call when you're talking to them. Don't just get on the phone. Our connectors are the ones that are going to need the face-to-face -face so they can see your eyes, so they can see your facial expression. This is how they connect. This is how they thrive and stay balanced. So that was just bringing that back around from before go contact all your friends and family and check in with them, have the conversations about what they're doing, what they're experiencing and, and try and always bring it back to not so much the positive. You don't want to be that asshole. So positive when everybody else is in a really bad situation, but you want to be able to have those conversations and check in with them and be like a, be like a workshopping soundboard for them. of like, okay, that's happening. All right. Maybe you need to go do that. Like my sister rang me before and went, that's okay. I'll go find out how you can find your CRN number. And she's like, I'll go workshop that. Cause I've got time and you're busy. So I'm going to go do that. So it's about coming together and going, how can we help each other? How can I help keep you calm? I'm going to acknowledge that you're shitting yourself right now, but I'm also going to acknowledge that you'll get through this and together we'll have some conversations and let's start finding creative ideas on how we can pull through this together. And you watch us all create, this, we're all going to create some form of contribution to each other and to this world that we didn't really know or didn't recognize from what we all think is such a bad situation, right? Um, so allow the fear, acknowledge it, and find ways to raise your vibrations. And that comes back to what I said before. What brings you joy? What brings you joy? Is it dancing? Is it music? I wake up every morning now and I'm like, where's the incense? Where's my music? I have a, a playlist of um, songs that I put on as soon as I wake up. But before I touch my phone, I actually meditate for 10 minutes. I'm now like, and this comes into the next part of it. If you don't have a morning ritual, now is the time to create one. Because now you're going to need to set your vibrations. Because as soon as you get to any device or any other human, you are going to be hit with a, a, a whirlwind of emotions and fear and panic. Even if they're keeping the shit together and they're not inside, 
you will feel it. So now is our time to really self-protect and ensure that we're doing the morning rituals to, to give ourselves that clean slate and that ability to push on through. So whether that's meditation, yoga and stretching, um, actually, Angela, seems as you've got time, do you mind contributing? Could I ask a favour of you? Sure. Your five rights. Do you mind jumping on Zoom and recording it? Do you know how to record? Uh, no. And I was going to ask you how to... Uh, I don't use Zoom. I mean, I... I... It's free. It's free. You can sign up using your email. You just go to zoom.com, sign up using your email, create an, a, a password, and you can use Zoom. You can use the free version. You do not need to pay for anything. And you can just set it up, turn it on, hit record. Then when it's finished, it will download it and save it either to the cloud or it will save it to your computer. And from there, you can either upload it to YouTube or send it as a big file. There's different ways you can do that, and I can workshop that with any of you if you need it. Um, yeah. But... Um, the cool thing about that is, is I would love if you would share your five rights, your morning ritual. I sure. think that's a beautiful opportunity to contribute. And I know the guys would probably, Katie, especially with her oil, she'd probably be able to look at what you do and go, oh, and if you just use this oil and this oil and this oil, that would be amazing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Katie, are you in the oils? Yes. Ah, I'm just getting into oils. I just set up my shelf about two months ago. That's great. Yeah, so I don't know that I contribution. I don't know that I can record it on Zoom though because part of it is standing and part of it is on a mat and part of it is you know. But, so don't take the phone with you. Take your phone and record on your mobile phone. Yeah, I think I'll, I I can get my neighbor to come over. Yay! Um, Thank I'm in you. an apartment building, you know, so mm -hmm. she's across the hall. I think maybe I can get her to come over and, and uh, film me. Perfect. I, I've been amazing. thinking about that, actually. Uh, it's come up. Well, it came up with you, and it came up with – it's come up uh, four or five times in the last couple of months, and I thought, I should, I should have a recording of that, and I can just mm -hmm. flip it up to somebody. It's really great. Yeah. Really yeah, great. If you need to, I can show you how to set up a YouTube channel so you can just start storing them there. You don't have to have a channel that goes global, but it's a really cool way to have things that you can store and send just a link rather than trying to send an entire video. Oh, really? Really? Okay. I have another question. You said in the beginning of this call four things that you got. Uh, time, lentils, and what were the other two? Oh, so I just used my food list. I just went into my food list and went, what do I need to have? So I have fresh thyme and dried thyme, lentils. Um, I have one whole chicken, which my portions of chicken, I literally do only eat like this part of my hand of chicken. Like that's my portion. That's it. Um, so thyme, lentils, Brussels sprouts for really high for me and leek. If I can get Brussels sprout, thyme, lentils and leek, I'm good. Uh -huh. I have all and four cabbage. Of cabbage is cheap right now. <laughs> I have all four of those in my house, so that's good. Mm. So yeah, now is the time to stock up on the right thing. So use your app, especially on the twenty fifth when it turns over. You will see that there is in that will have all the Chinese herbal medicine. So is it cumin? Like cumin is one of the ones that's massive. Garlic is another one. Um, I know that rhubarb extract is another one, which, you know, you might better get an essential oil for, or maybe um, you'll go get the capsules. So it will come up on your profile and tell you for your body, your immune boosters are X, Y, Z, and there's going to be some extra protocol in there to help manage stress. So um, send the link out to all your friends and family. Let's get everyone you love measured up. Um, and what I might do, if you want to add them into the, self-evolution garden page my public page i'm um, sorry my public group um if you want to add all your friends and family to that plus the global one i will then add extra bits and pieces into that let me just bring it up on the screen Self. is that the fitness program you're going to be doing monday Wednesday? Uh, fitness will go into there everything will, I'll try and zoom everything into that. Um, Angela, for you, it'll just be maybe putting them into a WhatsApp chat. Mm -hmm. If that's how you work, if you just want to use WhatsApp. 
Um, come on, computer, that one there. So this is the self-evolution biogenetic coach, all the health. Maybe that will use that as a group forum to bring everyone in and then I can just keep feeding everybody the information I can into there. I, I don't think I'll be able to do those Monday, Wednesday, Friday things because that's like 12.30 midnight for me. No. I'll just try and get them recorded and put... Oh, where can I put it? I'll try and record all of those and download them from Facebook into YouTube. And then I will give you my YouTube link and you can subscribe to the YouTube channel. That way, that'll happen. So it'll be a bit later that I'll do it anyway. And can you do that with this self-evolution garden? Can you put that in YouTube? No, but everything I share to that I can put in YouTube or if it's to written text, I'll send it to you personally. Yeah. So I'll, anything that's written in this group that's of use to you, I shall send you in WhatsApp. So this is the information that I will send across to you. Drop that down. but it is via Facebook. Everything's via Facebook, Angela. You're just going to have to get on. Yeah, you know, I mean, I think the truth is I'm already on. <laughs> because it keeps coming up. It keeps coming up for me. And uh, it's like, sign in, sign in with your Facebook account. And it's like, I don't have one. I'm not doing this. <laughs> yeah. Know. Everyone's on Facebook. WhatsApp is now uh, Facebook, you know? Yeah. Mm. <sighs> All right, guys, is there anything else you want? I wanted to keep it at this. Um, in the next two days, I'll have the next module up for those on the Facebook group. Um, Katie, maybe start back from week one and just start chugging back through the online modules and just, just, just set yourself one every so often nothing too i don't want you to overload because i know you still have a mother load going on um, but maybe just set aside some routine time just to self-improve now is the time we're all going to come out the end of this COVID 19 as fucking smart amazing contributing humans um and we're all going to have a lot more peace of mind and self-preservation 100 percent, and very clean and sanitized houses yes <laughs> Absolutely. Nobody With no died. chemicals. <laughs> yes. No, yeah, no chemicals. Chemicals completely destroy you. Mm -hmm. Chuck that chemicals out the door, out, out the window. I just walked into a shop and they made me use their chemical hand sanitizer. I mean, the toxicity is just burning off my hand. It's disgusting. Yeah. So um, follow me if you want, and yeah, I'll be putting lots of natural tips out there for the whole universe to take advantage of. Yay. We love you for that. My whole salon just stinks like Glen 20 at the moment. It does my head oh. in, but... Yeah. Well, it that'll give you a headache. No, no, oh, that'll give so you a headache. Bad. Yeah, so uh -huh. you need to go natural, darling. Yeah, and I'm in an arcade, so I don't actually have oh. exterior windows, so I've got nowhere for that scent to go, and it does my head in. Oh, you poor mm. thing. Uh, oh, well, well, when I get you on all these natural natural uh, solutions, you'll be... Because what get, brings me joy, Shana? Yeah. Nothing brings me more joy than solving a problem. Mm. I'm with you on that. I'm 100%. If I can solve a problem, you're probably nothing gives you more joy than someone loses a kilo of weight and feel better for it. Yeah. Like, really? Gosh, yes. I'm a solution provider. If you I can are. provide a solution, I am happy. 100%. So mm. now, if someone's, I'm sorry, I don't know your name. Sinead or, you, or Angela? Uh, Sinead. <laughs> Sinead, you're using Glen 20. I'm like, I'm. I, I am just, just hearing those words just diminishes me. Ooh, I'm sorry. 
no, 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 because I just know the toxicity in that, that, that product. Mm. Oh, yeah, mm. that they're all full of t- chemicals and stink like crap, but... I know, and the, but this is what you and nearly everyone thinks is, I've got to clean the place, and that's what they're telling us now. Mm-hmm. And you know, the only people maybe benefiting are the people that sell freaking chemicals on this planet at the moment. Oh, yeah. You can't get but it anywhere in Adelaide. Yeah, the, but there'll be people like me who are just championing Mother Earth, Mother Nature, natural solutions, a hundred percent natural. We can do this. We're so resourceful, and if only we knew that. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. I, 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 I can help you offline if you want, but um, th- that's what drives and excites and motivates and brings me great joy. Is making well, people well. But today I sanitized my entire house. I cleaned and sanitized my entire house and did six loads of laundry. And what I used was uh, white vinegar and um, uh, lemon essential oil. Brilliant. 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 Yeah, mustard uses vinegar and tea tree oil. Yeah, yeah. Everything. You could do that yeah. with um, it's just making it with lavender it's as well. Disinfectant. It's yeah. disinfectant. It's sanitizing. Well, you know, that's exactly it's, what I would do. Mm-hmm. Reminds me to get some more natural hand sanitizers. That's my big one. Is natural hand sanitizers because we can't yes. even get like rubbing alcohol to make hand sanitizers in mm-hmm. Adelaide at the moment. Like it's so hard to get anything. Mm-hmm. And I was like. But it is, it's really harsh on your hands, especially like my hands are in water 24 seven and dealing with chemicals in work, Mm -hmm. putting the hand sanitizers on my hands are getting so dry and sore. Yeah. Yeah. It's so hard. And when you walk in stores, they make you, you know, put it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Big time, big time. Well, my lovelies, thank you so much for tuning in. There's massive, massive content there. Katie, feel free to post any of your stuff into the group if you wish to assist anybody. Angela, if you can get a chance to the five rights, that would be an awesome contribution. Shanae, um, I would love to see just your list. Your list of things you're going to get done. Um, And then I will create these fitness videos and be uploading them into the group. Um, I'm going to do them across a few of my groups. So I'll just try and make sure it's accessible anywhere. Um, I'm also going to be doing cooking classes. So if you guys get in a pinch and you're like, Shana, I've got this random can of stuff in the cupboard, but please try and come back to your PH360 profiles. Come back to that and see what's the top food lists. Try and make sure you've got those in your cupboards because they are the things that are going to feed you the most. Send out that link to everybody you can to find out what their health type is and give them all the opportunity to get on the 10-day immune booster with PH360. Katie, I'll send you that link directly right now. Um, and, and will you send me the, the link to subscribe to your YouTube, please? Yes, she'll do that too. Um, Katie, Katie, Katie. K-A-G. Good look at us just getting it all done. Because <laughs> I know if I don't do it right now, I'm going to walk out of this thing and I've got 40 things waiting for me up, outside the other thing. And there's all these MyGov group chats happening now where everyone's like, get over here and go over there and go to this link. And I'm going, oh, I don't have time to do anything right now. I kind of wish they'd fire me here so I actually could be like, well, now I'm done. But instead, they're trying to scrounge up everything they can to give us work. And I'm like, I kind of would just prefer if you'd just get rid of me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm even applying back in the mines. I've actually even contacted a couple of the mining companies and gone, hey, you still, got, still taking people on? YouTube, YouTube. Angela. All right, my lovelies. That is all. If anything comes up for you, please let me know. In the next couple of days, I'll have the next module up. If you are behind on modules, don't stress. Now is the time to go back and just start checking through them because there's so much content in those modules, so many videos, extra worksheets, extra awesome stuff in there that will really, really help in these times. Okay, and one more question. Uh, What is the uh, link to join Zoom, to to get Zoom on, to use Zoom? Zoom Zoom.com? Just Zoom.com? Yep, if you just go to zoom.com, uh, let me go here, zoom. Because I'm doing Zoom for, for another organization and it was zoom.us. 
Oh, yeah. Coming up is that for me too. There you go. Yep. So zoom.us because that's the same one I sign in with. Let me just double check. China Clem is zoom.us slash sign in. Copy. Send to you. Done. Use that one and then you don't have to, you don't have to pay anything at all. You can just stay on the free version. Okay. It's only when you're going up to large groups of people and you're trying to search, search, share directly to Facebook, mm -hmm. which you're not. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Excellent. No worries, my guys. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, Shannon. Thank you. Stay positive, stay strong, and I appreciate each and every one of you so much. Let's go spread the word. Let's spread the 10-day thing with everybody. And just, just for curiosity's sake, too, I'm just really keen to find out who everyone is around me. <laughs> right? I'm like, what is everybody? Because I can visually be like, yeah, I think you are. But then to actually see, I'm going to be like, mm. <laughs> know the people. And then what we might do is in our next call, um, or I might even do it as a, a global one on the, the public group. I might even do a call and discuss the different health types, right? So then I'll go, I'll get the wheel and I'll be like, right. So what did everyone's friends and family come up as? Let's go through and discuss the benefits of each of the different health types and how they interact. I think that would be like a really mindgasmic conversation maybe for Saturday or Sunday this week when everyone's going to be home. Won't be home Saturday. Sunday maybe? I can do Sunday. I can't do Saturdays because I work. Awesome. I'll do it Sunday um, and try and do it where everyone can be on, hopefully. And then, Yeah, what time? Is it for the whole family? Yes, it will be. It'll be for the whole family. So try and get the 10-day thing out to everybody. So find out what all your friends and family are because it's free. They get a whole month access to PH360. Let's get them all on, find out what everyone's health types are, and then let's do a global discussion about the different variations in the health types. And we'll talk about, I'll, I'll put a list out together and go, right, let's talk about their food. Let's talk about their, their personalities. Let's talk about their drivers. Let's talk about their core values. Let's talk about um, their quirkiness. Um, I'll throw in some funny ones about like in relationships versus, and if you guys can type in or question in and go, okay, my husband is a blah, blah, blah. Explain this. And I might be able to sit there and be like, blah, 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 and give you guys like that. Let's make it really interactive. Um, and I'll do a post about that in the next two days and you guys can share that out as well. So go, guys, I want to know what health type you are because on Sunday, Shana's going to do a massive discussion about understanding the different health types and how they work together. Oh, that feels so good. Let's do that. And we just, we just send them the link, yeah? Yep. Send them the link, get them to sign themselves up. It's all free. Measure themselves yep. up. Let's get them all in there and as many people as we can. Shana, I'm in Kmart. Where's that stretch stuff? Ah, uh, uh, yep. In the fitness section. <laughs> yeah, I am. Uh, okay, so it should be rubber bands. You should see a bunch of rubber bands stretch there bands, together. Stretch bands. Right there. Right there. So they're the ones what that go around getting? your. Well, they're the ones that go around your knees. So they're in the oh. loops. So you're going to want to go oh, to the other one, please. which are a bit bigger. Yes, those ones. Just one packet. Uh, yeah, for just you. If you want what some about more, my so family. Gonna be, yeah, two or three. They're, they're amazing. The ones can, I love those yeah, things. They're going to be good for shoulder raises, but if you yes. want a bit more resistance, you may want to get one of the thicker round tube ones or the thicker rubber. There should be one in there, in that section there, that should be a thicker rubber. And is this any good? Yes. The therapy roller? Yes. I'm going to do some classes one. on those. Go that's the foam so one. Go the those therapy one. ones are a little bit brutal to start on. Yeah, they look pretty brutal. Yeah, just go the phone one. <laughs> okay, so I'm getting um, bands, the yes. foam one. And what else did you say? Go to the cheapy shop and get some dice and some decks of cards. Oh, yeah, got those. Awesome. That's awesome. what some of the Thank trainings you. are going to be. Sorry, uh, just to interject on that, everyone. That's great. That's great. Reminds the others. So I'm also going to go like fitness kids. shopping. Do it. Do it. So um, get the rubber bands, get those things, have mats. I'm going to be using pots. I'm going to be using deck chairs. And I'm going to show you how to stick stuff on it and then carry the deck chair across the room and do squats and then do a lunge and then do all this. And so we're going to get really creative with stuff at home while everyone's in isolation. 
Yeah, really good. And just tell me, I've got the foam one that's slightly bumpy, Shana. What about this one that's like three in one roller that's smoother though? And got Ooh. that in the. I think looks that looks like, like that a winner comes anyway. out. Who, why wouldn't oh, you yeah. want three in one? Oh, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Gosh, it's like the lolly shop. I know, it's flavor. <laughs> just it makes you healthier. <laughs> Perfect. Awesome. Thank you, my loves. Have a great day. Thanks, I'm gonna go everyone. Live about you this. Too. Rock and roll. Woohoo. Follow Much me on love. Katie Mae Taylor and then I'll share all my stuff on yes. Facebook. Do you want to put a link? Can you put a link into the group directly to that? I'll try to, yeah. Thank you. Love you. Ciao, ciao. Love you too. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.